Breaking news, Westchester resident Michael Herman has been found dead in his basement by his beloved sister. Experts are saying that this may be because of radon exposure. <gasps> Autopsy found that Mr. Furman has lung cancer. To help with the answers that may provide closure to the Furman family, a team of investigators entered the family home to search for evidence of what may have caused the seemingly unexplainable death. <laughs> Radon itself is colorless and odorless, meaning it will go undetected by the human senses. This gas also undergoes alpha decay. If these alpha particles are inhaled, our internal tissues may be severely damaged. Therefore, we urge local homeowners and buyers to either go to their hardware store to pick up a DIY radon testing kit, or even better, having professionals coming in to test their home. So Gabby just talked about what radon can do to you if a human inhales it. But how does radon affect the ecosystem? Radon can dissolve in groundwater such as wells and swamps. If radon is in the water we use to shower or cook, it does not get dissolved. Instead, radon gas can leave the water and go into the air. Radon does not affect soil at all, therefore you cannot test soil for radon exposure. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that is created through the radioactive decay of chemicals uranium and radium. This reaction is modeled here. This gas can then travel through soil and or fractures and bedrock from the source of its creation and that may therefore enter the low pressure, low air pressure basements of homes in areas like Westchester County. This may provide some explanation of what may have happened to Mr. Furman. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, um, what is your thoughts on radon in the basement? Fortunately, I really you know it's dangerous, but I don't know much about it. Got it. Have you ever had radon in your basement? No! Absolutely not. Would you hate to have radon in your basement? Of course, I would. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with. Hello. Nice to meet you. Okay. Um. What are your thoughts about radon in basements? It's pretty cool. I like it. Big fan. Okay, radon kills people. Did you know that? I didn't. I'm not a big fan anymore. Oh, it sucks. It's uh, it gives you lung cancer. Really? Mm -hmm. Would you like people to know about this more? No. Since it's a tragedy. You don't want to spread awareness? No. Mission failed. Thank you, Will. Uh, Justin Blake. All right, nice to meet you. Uh, what are your thoughts about radon in basements? I think it shouldn't be in basements in that city because it's unsafe for all the people and the little creatures. Uh, did you know it kills people? Yeah, that's why it's unsafe. Uh, do you think more people should know that it kills people? Yeah, because it's unsafe. Thank you. I'm here with MJ. Nice to meet you. Um, so what are your thoughts about radon in basements? Um, I really don't know nothing about it. So you've never heard of it? Nope. All right, cool. So it kills people, right? Mm -hmm. it, like, it gives you lung cancer. Do you think more people should know about that then? Yeah. Since it's like a problem in your basement? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with Solana. Nice to meet you. What are your thoughts about radon in basements? Young boy. I don't know. Wait. <laughs> no, no, Justin! It's, it's, it's a chemical that gives you lung cancer and kills you. The woman was too stunned to speak. That is not in your basement. That's not good. No, it is not. Do you think people should, more people should know about this? Yes. Especially if it's in your basement? Especially if it's in your basement. Thank you so much. Of course. No. What's your opinion on radon in basements? The ones Radon. It's a chemical that gives you lung cancer. Right. There's no better if it gives you lung cancer. And that's a fact. Did you know anything about it? No. Do you think more people should be aware about this since it gives you lung cancer? Yes, yeah, probably the stuff with kids bait. What? Hello, I'm here with Miss Turner. Nice to meet you, Miss Turner. Um, what are your thoughts about radon in the basement? 
It's dangerous. Do you know anything about radar? I know that you'll have to uh, use fans to uh, oh, you're dumb. Three wins. get it out of your basement. Three wins. Cool. Oh. Oh, do you think more people should know about the deadly side effects of radar and what it, in that it is? And what it is? And what it is. Thank you. To the same open, bro. I'm scared. As you can see from the previous clips, most residents of Westchester are unaware of how radon can affect them in their everyday lives. So, more on that in the next coming clips by radon experts. After you test your home and it comes up positive, you can get it professionally taken care of. You could also increase airflow in your house by opening up windows and using fans to, to vent and circulate your house. Natural ventilation in any type of house should help limit the amount of radon in your basement and in your house. The most reliable way to get radon out of your basement is the vent pipe and fan system. Professionals come in and cut a hole in the floor and connect the vent from the hole to a window. The fan and vent basically sucks the radon from beneath the house and releases it into the open outside air. Half-lives in term of radioisotopes is how long it takes for half of the radioactive atoms to decay. The half-life of radon is 3.8 days. During the process known as radioactive decay, nuclei of radioactive atoms release both charged particles and energy. These emissions are commonly referred to as radiation. Disclaimer, it is not in everyone's home, it's in one in every 15 homes in the United States of America. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 10 million followers. Let's go.